It won't be for long. Just long enough for them to find out what's going on. Please don't leave me here. Just for a couple of days. You'll see. Time will go by fast. Susan, we need to go. There's no reason to drag this out. Be brave, darling. You're strong. I know you're strong. leaving your home and your family. But here we have a better chance of understanding what's happening. We can find a way to protect you. Nobody can protect me. Your belongings are in that bag over there. Cole and I are right next door. If you need anything or if anything's wrong, just call and we'll come right away. Okay. Good night, Jody. All right. Find somewhere to change. They haven't put cameras in here, too. Bunny Gruff, where's my rabbit? Off to bed now, Jody. I'm gonna turn off the light now. Good night, Jody. Wait! Can you leave the light on in the hall? I don't like it when it's dark. Sure. How's that? Good. Good night. Night. Don't be afraid, Aiden. We're gonna have a good night's sleep. And nothing is going to happen. I 
can't sleep, Aiden. I think I need a story. Jody! Get a doctor! Hurry! It's okay. It'll be all right now. Hayden isn't scared of them anymore. I said no. End of story. Please, Nathan, just this once. All the other girls in my class are going, and I won't be late. I promise, okay? You're wasting your breath, Jody. It's just not fair. How come everyone can go and I can't? I do everything you ask of me all week, and I never get to have any fun. For the hundredth time, you're not like everyone else, and there are rules. Well, I didn't ask to be different. I just want to go out and, and have friends and be like other girls my age. You'll never be like them. You need to get used to that. Good night. <laughs> ah! Yeah. I'll be next door. Let me know if you need anything.
It's Saturday night, and I'm locked up in here. Come on, I just want to go out and have some fun. I can't do it, babe. Rules are rules. Please. Come on, Cole. Please. Please let me out just this once. Why do you have to tell Nathan everything? I'm sorry, princess, but I can't. It's not my call. This is not gonna do you any good. You're grounded. Period. Oh, stop it, Aiden. They don't give a shit if we break everything in this goddamn room. If that's not gonna work, we have to figure out what will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's calmed down. She smashed up the apartment first, but <laughs> she's calmed down. Okay. Sure. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm really sorry, Cole. I hate myself for doing this, but... You understand, right? I just... I need to go out tonight. Yeah, I know. It's too late to turn back now. Locked. Of course it is. Well, hello, Cole. Jody. They're late for day trip, isn't it? C 
Cole was just um, taking me to see the shooting stars. A apparently there's like tons up there tonight. Have you seen them yet? Listen, I don't know if Professor Dawkins would be all right with you going outside in the middle of the night. Please. I mean, it's only going to be like a few minutes and Cole is with me and... <sighs> I... 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 I've never seen a shooting star. All right. Go ahead. I'll pretend I never saw you. What's up, Cole? Cat got your tongue? Hmm? Uh... He, he lost... He, he lost his voice. I think it's like a... A virus or something. So, I'm, that's more than that's more than I've gotten out of them all all day long. So, hope it's not contagious, buddy. You should be home in bed if you ask me. Safer for all of us. All right, well, see ya. Go on now. At least we don't have to look for Cole's car. There's cameras everywhere. Better not hang around here too long. Now get in the car and start it up. really out of sight. Let's go, Aiden. We try not to attract attention, okay? Good call, my man. Night off? Jody? I think I know exactly what that was all about. I told you not to go, and you disobeyed me. You know how dangerous that was for Cole and for you? Hell, Jody, don't you remember Kirsten's birthday party? You know what can happen with Aiden, right? Right? go out and be like everyone else for once. I know, John. I know.
I, I don't know how to tell you this, Jody, so I'm just going to tell you. Your mom and I, we've been transferred. We have to leave the base. We really want to take you with us, but we think... Everyone thinks that it would be better for you to stay here with Professor Dawkins. Of course, we'll come to see you whenever it's possible. And when you're better, you'll join us in our new home. Okay? Well, I think it's for the best. Goodbye, dear. Be brave, darling. I know this is difficult. But I'm sure it'll work out for you. I'm gonna go, Susan. Just give me a minute, Philip. That's enough. Come on. She's evil. You're a monster. Do you hear me? A monster. Oh my God, Jody. Jody, I know how you feel, but you made the right decision. Totally exhausted and thirsty, and I have no clue where we fucking are, so just play nice and give me a break, okay? Everything's gonna be okay. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm dying of thirst. And 
Everything's fucked. But it's gonna be okay. Leave me alone, Aiden. What? Hey, Aiden. There's no reason to be nervous. I'm so sorry to disturb you. I I'm just looking for some place to spend the night, and and I was hoping. That you can't stay here. Sorry. Please. It's gonna be really cold tonight. No. I I have nowhere else to go, and look, I promise I will be gone by morning. I told you you can't stay here. You need to leave now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Basel. I could now. Dobone, Zarahe. I didn't know. Oh, yeah. At last, I'd been the co, the dot cat. Ah, do a bendigo no dot dot. It's okay. You can stay here tonight. Come in. What's your name? Jody. I'm Paul. These are my sons, Corey and Jay. My mother, Shimasani. Don't be surprised if she doesn't answer you. She hasn't spoken in years. We're about to have dinner. Would you like to eat with us? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, thank you. We don't see many hitchhikers out here. Can I ask where you're headed? I just keep moving from day to day. I guess if I keep going long enough, I'll figure out where I'm headed. I see. This is the, uh first ranch that I've seen in, in miles. Mm. There used to be more of us. Many have left for the city. It's a hard life out here. You 
guys are, um, Navajo, right? We're Diné. That means the people in Navajo. That's what we call ourselves. You guys are really far from everything here. Hmm. My family's lived here for generations. I was born here. I'll probably die here. I tell my boys to go. I know there's nothing for them here. But, uh, they want to stay with their grandmother and me, so. <laughs> Stay in your room, no matter what you hear. What I hear? What do you mean? You value your life? Lock your door and don't come out until the morning. Very strange place. Don't worry. Tomorrow will be a long way from here. Good night, Aiden. You stay in your room. No matter what you hear.
go back to your room right now! Please, Jody. Just do as I ask. Room. What the hell was that? Go back to bed. You can leave in the morning. Exhausted. I told the boys to let you sleep. Thanks. I, I really needed it. Made some coffee.
gonna hit the road. Thank you. There's a lot of work to be done on the farm. Maybe you'd like to stay on for a few days. A helping hand. Couldn't pay you anything, but uh, you have a roof, food on the table. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, w why not? Hmm, good. You'll find some more clothes in Corey's room. See you outside. Ready for work? I'm ready when you are. The sheep need water. Think you can handle that? Sure. You're gonna stay well? It looks that way. Great. I mean, it's good to have some help. Thanks, Judy. Uh, can you get some hay from the barn? Jody and, and I'm I'm gonna stay here for a little bit and help out. I hope that you don't mind. This is beautiful. Did you make this yourself? Help me, Aiden. Take it easy, Aiden. Just one bail, not the whole goddamn haystack. Hey, Jody! Lunch? Okay, L let me just finish this first.
Put it down anywhere. Thanks, Jordy. It's lunchtime. Go and join the boys if you're hungry. You coming? Later. I still have work to do. Okay, later then. Have a seat. Thanks. Is it true that your grandmother hasn't spoken in, in years? Yeah. My father said she hasn't said a word since my great-grandmother died. That's gotta be 30 years. Are there other Navajo ranches around here? There used to be about 50 some years back, but now there's just us. The others got scared off. The others decided to go live in the city. Not everyone wants to live in the desert. I saw the dead sheep. What happened to them? A storm. They wander out of the pen and choke to death on the sand. You know, when I opened the door last night, I saw something. Pretty sure someone was outside. I don't know what she's talking about. It's probably a dream. Do you always ask so many questions? When I don't understand something, yeah. Yeah? How about if I started asking you questions? Where you come from? What you're doing here? You probably wouldn't like it, huh? So keep your secrets to yourself. And don't ask any more questions. You'll excuse me. I got work to do. Don't mind him, Jody. He's okay when you get to know him. I'll bet. Well, I guess I better get back to it or Paul will get mad. <laughs> See you later. Well done, Jody. Let's see what Jay's doing. Whoa. Proud and stubborn. Never wants to go in with the others. Do you mind if I try? You worked with horses before? No. <laughs> go right ahead. His name's Ashki. Hey there, Ashki. Don't be afraid. I'm just gonna come over there, okay? So bad, is it? 
Admit it. You kind of like me, huh? <laughs> hey, Aiden. Ever dreamed of riding a horse? Take him to the enclosure. How'd you do that? We all have our secrets, right? Maybe I misjudged you. You want to take a shower? It's behind the barn. Ladies first. It's fine by me. And then, the guy left running. And you know what? He was never seen again. <laughs> it's time to go to bed. What's happening here? Why do we have to lock up the house? Just go to your room, Jordy. And don't come out, no matter what happens. You remember the sheep last night? I don't want anything to happen to you. God, for God's sakes, Paul. What's going on here? Just go to your room. There's nothing you can do.
Jody. Jody, I told you to stay in your room. You could have been killed. What's happening here? What was that thing? You should have listened to me. Stayed in your room. You have to tell me the truth. You have to tell me the truth now. It's Yeitzo. He wants blood. That's all he's interested in. We can't do anything about it. You can't fight a spirit. Spirits don't live in this world. If he's here, there's a reason. You remember, Ashley? We're friends, right? I'm just gonna put my foot in the stirrup and climb up, okay? Figure out how to go forward. Think, Ashki. We're doing pretty good, huh? That horse is gonna have to tell me your secret. Listen, I'm headed over to the pasture to tend the churros. You wanna come? Sure. Let's go. Then. Yeah. I know you don't want to talk about it. But I really need to know what happened last night. Your father knew the spirit. It's not the first time he's come, right? Yeetso has always been here. It comes at night and steals souls. The old ones used to say, it's a curse the price our tribe had to pay for living on these lands. And the ghosts that surround the house. I mean, do you know who they are? My father says five spirit guardians have always protected our tribe. They come at night to prevent Yeotso from killing us. I don't know if it's true. But... Yeetso has never managed to get into our house. My turn to ask you some questions. What are you really doing out here in the middle of the desert? It feels like you're running away from something. 
I guess I'm just trying to forget. You know, make a new start. Maybe I'm just running away from myself. You're like us. You also have your dark secret, don't you, Jody? I, um... I have to tell you something. That was Paul. There's no water at the ranch. Something must be up with the well. I'm gonna have a look on my way back. I can go take a look if you want. Uh, don't know if you'll be able to do much. I'll do what I can. Where's the well? Uh, it's over there. It's got a windmill. Shouldn't be hard to find. Okay. I'll see you back at the ranch. Okay. See you later. for it, I didn't...
crown. The arrow is pointing in that direction. been brought here. Can you see anything, Aiden? the soldiers in the fort. Could it be Yato?
I saw in my visions. Excited. Weird. This one has no talisman. Baby's neck. We 
Help me, Aiden. I've got to see what happened. God, it all went by too fast. I, I didn't understand it. It's, it's just all mixed up. It's as if something's missing. I'll show the talismans to Paul. Maybe he'll know something. To me, like her mother before. She also gave me this. detail. here. They were lost, full of hatred for the white man. They bring spirit, kill their enemies, and gain revenge. Turned against them. He was still hungry, hungry for blood. Yea, Itsu is back. He has come to take our lives. We're your ancestors. They're the guardians who protect the house, right? They know they were wrong, so they returned to protect us from the evil that they released. If they brought the entity here, I mean, there's gotta be some way to send it back to its own world. They used a ritual to open the passage. I still remember the incantation, but the ritual is lost. I saw the ritual in my vision. Look, I'll prepare it and you can help me with the incantation. Hurry! He's coming. The fire. The 
have to make a fire in the front of the house.
Jody! I wish I could have helped you. You helped us to understand what happened. I feel like I've that's a lot. Fucked everything up. We're gonna continue to live with this thing and hope that one day it will go back to where it came from. you. Where are you gonna go now? I don't know. No, I... I always thought my gift was a curse. I was beginning to think maybe I could use it to help people. These last few days showed me it's not that simple. Jody! You didn't think you were just gonna walk, did you? It took me some time, but I managed to get it going again. Take it. It's yours. It's the least we can do to thank you. Ready? Yeah. Cole? Okay, I'm recording. Now concentrate, Jody. Tell me if you feel anything in particular about any of these objects. Can you see anything, Aiden? Nathan, someone named Ryan Clayton is here to see you. He says you know what it's about. 
Yes. I'll be back in a moment. Listen, I never got around to telling her I need more time. No. Professor Dawkins, she needs to come with me today. I, I have my orders. Christ, she's only a child. My assistant and I are the only family she's got. She doesn't have any idea what's out there. Look, Dawkins, I see your side of it. All right, I do. But orders are orders, right? You gonna bring her to me or do I have to go and get her? Jody, could you come here, please? What's, what's going on, Nathan? You, you look upset. Tony, this is Ryan Clayton from the CIA. The agency. The agency wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. Ryan's going to take care of you from now on. You have to go with him, Jody. Today. Understand? Why me? This unit belongs to the CIA. They've been tracking your case ever since you arrived. They know what you and Aiden can do. I am not a child. I can make my own decisions. No one can force me to go. Hey, Jody, I know. It's difficult, but you need to understand this is a great opportunity for you. I don't care what you think. I'm not going anywhere. Jesus, listen up, Miss Holmes. I don't give a shit about your pathetic adolescent pouting, all right? You can rant and rave all you want, but you'll shut your mouth and do as you're told. Go fuck yourself. That's it. Let's go. Come here. Go get my things. <sighs> Only the essentials. We've got everything you need at Camp Perry.
See you as soon as I can. I'll never let you down. You know that, don't you? I'll always be there for you. Time to go. Yeah? Jody. Hey, it's, it's Ryan. Ryan! I was just wondering if you got my email. What, what, wait, what, what email? The one I sent three days ago. You know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so... Maybe another time? Shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I... You know, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. Now I get why you blasted my computer. You didn't want me to see Ryan. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again. I'm not yours, Aiden. I can have a relationship with whoever I want. This is my life. Do you fucking hear me? This is my life. You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. And I think I'm falling for him. Okay. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look.
I knew I'd have to learn to cook someday, but I didn't expect it to be so soon. I gotta find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Asian beef, oh. I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Curried chicken with oven-baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Pizza delivery. I mean, it's not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. Yeah, chicken curry with a little down-home flavor. I mean, he's gonna love that. I mean, as long as I don't fuck it up. Thanks, Aiden. So far, so good. Ginger. It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. I mean, it's not in the recipe, but... It can't hurt. I mean, I need all the help I can get. Well, into the oven we go. Oh, 
crap. Crap, he's early. I'm coming! Oh, good one, Aiden. Okay, you got me. Now, open the door. Aiden! Aiden, come on, open up! too. You know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not going to stop me from seeing Ryan. What should I wear? Oh, hi, Ryan. I've been waiting for you. I don't know.
Oh, hey, Ryan. Yeah, whatever. I just, like, threw these old things on because, yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Is it not enough effort? Oh, hello, Ryan. Oh, do you like it? Classic, elegant, je ne sais quoi. Classy. It's the new me, and it shows that I can adapt to any situation. You might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? This date is going on. Period. The trash can in the kitchen. Yeah, the trash can in the kitchen. Aiden, don't be a pain in the ass. Books. Okay, on the bookshelf. Okay, great. Dirty clothes in the basket in the bathroom.
Christ, Aiden. Look, you just don't get it. I didn't behave yourself. Hey, this is important to me, and I'm counting on you. I... <laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me, so... Why don't you sit? Um, I'll get the, um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> it's a cool apartment. Huh? Yeah, thanks. I didn't. For fuck's sakes. You want me to open it? No, no, I'll do it. To your new apartment. To my new apartment. <laughs> wow, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the agency found it for me and all furnished and everything. It's just, it's actually the first place I've ever had just by myself. So it's weird getting used to the idea of it. <laughs> And how about you? Where where do you live? Oh, I, uh, I have a place just outside of town. Yeah, it's small, but you know it's got a little garden and it's pretty quiet. And did you did you grow up here? Or? No, no. I, I was born in Oregon. You know, my parents and brothers still live there, but I, I moved out when I was sixteen. Sixteen? Oh. Did you get, get kicked out or something? Uh. Well, things were pretty chaotic at home. My, my stepfather liked to beat me when he had too much to drink. And uh, I just decided to get out before one of my sons could come. How did you end up joining the city? I, I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, tried the army. I should probably, you know, I'm gonna go check on the dinner because 
this cooking thing, it's a whole new adventure for me. <laughs> you need help? No, but why don't you go sit and more wine would be nice. <laughs> okay. Mmm, smells good. Oh, it's um, a chicken curry with oven baked vegetables. I mean, that's what it's supposed to be, so. I didn't know you cooked. I mean, it looks great. Mmm. Oh. This is good. Oh. Good. I'm I'm glad I'm glad you like it. So we've been working together now for what? Like two years? I know almost nothing about you. There's nothing much to say. You know, I grew up with my parents on the DPA campus. Yeah, you know, your parents, do you, uh, you still see them? No. No, I don't. I'm, I think they were just terrified about how different I was. So Nathan and Cole, they, they brought me up more or less. They taught me how to cope with Iden, how to accept myself as I am. I mean, it wasn't always easy, but you know, I'm making progress. Yeah, did, did Nathan ever manage to Are you sure everything's okay? Yes, everything's fine. Aiden is just... He's just feeling a little nervous. It's okay, really. It's like... Is he here now? Listening to us? Yeah. Yeah, he never leaves me. Uh, what about you? Do you, have, do you have any family here? No. No, my, uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see them as little as possible. <laughs> and are you, um... Are you married or anything? No, no. I, I, yes, I mean, I, I, I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for like, two years. And, uh... Yeah, it couldn't work. I mean, it, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. How about you? Anyone on your radar? I've got Aiden, so. I mean, anyone in our world. You know what? Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. I has got nothing to do with this.
Jackson, I, I think I better go. No, Ryan. Aiden is very possessive, and he doesn't want to share you with anyone. So I, I think you got to work it out with him. Are you happy? Because you got what you wanted. He's gone, and now you can have me to your fucking self. I really hope you're deliriously fucking happy. And you can just fucking float in your invisible world and watch me cry. I hate you. I fucking hate you. <laughs>